Hello all, in this video we will see how to connect ESP32 to a router over Wi-Fi to get internet access. MicroPython is used for coding in this uh, demo. Generally in a home or office network there will be a router which acts as an access point. This uh, access point uh, is connected to the internet service provided uh, to get the internet access. Uh, clients can connect with this router over Wi-Fi. ESP32 can act as a client. In MicroPython, a client is also called a station. Over Wi-Fi, ESP32 can connect with this router, which acts as access point. Once the client is connected with the access point, the router will provide an IP address uh, to its client. ESP32 can also act as an AP. Instead of router, you can use the ESP32 as AP and you can connect uh, clients like uh, ESP8266 or ESP32 or even your uh, mobile can be a client. But in this video, we will be seeing the first uh, uh, setup in which uh, ESP32 acts as a client or station. We will be using Tony Python IDE to write and upload code onto ESP32. You can watch my previous video on how to use this Tony Python. Connect ESP32 to USB of uh, your PC and open Tony Python. And under view files, you can see a boot.py, uh, a default file on the device. This boot.py is the first uh, file which MicroPython will execute on PowerOn. You can add a print statement uh, just to intimate that it is running the boot.py. You can just click and save on device and uh, use the same name boot.py. Do not change the name as MicroPython will look for the boot.py on first power up. Uh, next, it will look for the main.py. MicroPython will uh, look for main.py. You click on uh, new file. And then here also you add a print statement to indicate that it is running main.py and then import the module connect Wi-Fi which will be creating shortly and then uh, call the function connect. So this module connect Wi-Fi and uh, connect function we have to create. It is user created. It will not come along with my MicroPython. We have to create ourselves. So save this file uh, main.py onto uh, MicroPython device. Uh, do not change the name. Name should be main.py. Next, you click on File New to create the Connect Wi-Fi module. Uh, the file name should be connect wifi.py open this uh, empty file and then uh, paste this code the link is given in the description below you can copy and paste this uh, code this is the connect uh, function where we import the network and then provide the ssid and password of our uh, wifi and we create a station object and we uh, activate the station object and then connect with the Wi-Fi and then we print the uh, configuration uh, data now save this file onto device the name should be connect Wi-Fi dot pi you can give any other name but uh, the same name should be used in the main dot pi once the file is saved on the device, you can uh, click on view files to see all the three files we have uploaded. That is boot.py, main.py and then the connect Wi-Fi. To execute the current uh, script, you can click on F5 or the green uh, right arrow button. Click on F5. Now the script is executed. So first... Uh, uh, boot.py will will be executed and then uh, it will look for main.py where we have placed a call for uh, connect Wi-Fi and the connect function 
so you can see first boot.py is executed and then main.py and then the call for connect wi-fi where the uh, wi-fi credentials are given according accordingly it will connect with the wi-fi now you can uh, see the ip address allotted the ip address subnet mask gateway ip and then the dns server all are printed once you switch off the power to usb32 and provide the power again you can see it will connect with the wi-fi automatically to stop the execution you can uh, click on the red uh, stop button and then it will return the repl uh, chevrons the three greater than symbol you will get back now let us see the individual uh, commands using uh, repl under uh, repl you first uh, use the import command to import network module to manage the interface and then we create an object uh, the registration object with uh, network dot uh, st underscore if uh, credentials then activate the uh, station object using this command station dot active uh, true it will return true stating that the station is active now you can do a scan uh, station scan to detect the wi-fi network surrounding wi-fi networks the tuples written have parameters of the wi-fi surrounding with uh, ssid name the third one is the third channel number and the fourth is the rssi signal strength which is given in the negative value uh, to connect uh, to know whether it is connected with the uh, access point you can use the command station dot uh, is connected it will return whether it is connected with the uh, access point or not now already the script is executed so it returns true otherwise you can use this command uh, station dot connect and provide the ssid and password to connect with the access point once it is connected to the access point the access point will provide an ip address to the esp32 to get the if configuration you can use the command station dot if config which will return the uh, IP address allotted to the ESP32 and then the subnet mask and then the gateway IP address and the DNS server. Here the DNS server and the uh, gateway IP both are same. Once the script is executed, it will uh, try to connect with the Wi-Fi. If Wi-Fi access point is uh, not found, it will return access AP is not active. And uh, if the access point is found, it will connect with the access point and it will give the information uh, the if configuration information thank you for watching